When I'm out and about, I really do like to play games once in a while. And I was using an Xbox One controller, but as you can see, that's a little too top heavy and it won't fit in my pocket. There's gotta be a solution. And here it is. Hi, I'm Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Razer Kishi. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you need to stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you two things, not one, but two things that you'll not find in any other video, including, this one is including, how to use this when you're running Samsung DeX. Okay, so you wanna stick around for that. All right, now, Let's just take a look and see what we have. Here's the Razer Kishi itself. Go ahead and take that out. It doesn't come with a whole lot. It comes with the Xbox One Game Pass. They come with a two-week Game Pass. And it comes with a little instruction book. It's going to tell you all the same things I did. And it comes with a couple of Razer stickers. So, so that's all we need from that. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the warning label off. And the warning label is just letting you know that you're going to need to take this apart in order to use it. And we're going to take off the cover for the pass-through. So now there is no battery in this unit. This is powered totally by your phone. So there's no issue. That was the other thing with the game controller. I'd have to make sure that the battery was there. I'd have to have, it was just a whole lot. So this is going to resolve a lot of those issues. Now, on the back, we have another warning label. I'm gonna leave that one on for right now. And it basically is just telling us that we can't pull this apart until we push on these two pieces. And I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. There's a good reason that this does this and we're gonna make use of that. So, in order to use it, we're gonna pop those two. This comes apart. It's got some, uh, an elastic band and it, you can see it, it has a little spring piece here. I've tried this on a Note 8, I've tried it on a Note 9, and the big question was, was it going to work on the Note 20? If it doesn't, this video is gonna stop here. Spoiler, obviously, I already know what we're doing. So, you're gonna just push it in here, like that, and then on the other phone, you could just pull it and slide it in. You can't do that with the Note 20, which, uh, Note 20 Ultra. What you're gonna need to do is do it on an angle, push it in on an angle, and you are all set. I was also concerned that it was going to mess with my uh, with my screen. I have a plastic screen cover on there. I thought it was going to push that up. Uh, not happening. So I'm fine. It's got a nice little rubberized piece in here and in here. So basically, we are all set and ready to go. That's it. Uh, what's missing from a lot of these reviews is what's going on with Call of Duty. And that's what's going on with Call of Duty. It's not that this doesn't support it. it. I mean, it doesn't, but it's not because of this. It's because Call of Duty is blocking the ability for you to use a wired controller. You must use a Bluetooth controller or your hand. I don't know, I don't get it. So you can go ahead and launch your game directly, or you can use the Kishi launcher, or you could use the, the Google Launcher, which is what I normally use. The advantage of the Kishi Launcher is that it will scan your games and tell you which ones it knows for sure will work 100%. And that doesn't mean the other ones won't, but there's a good chance that it's not going to work. So you just have to check each one. So for example, of all the games I have loaded, you can see I have Asphalt 8, Dead Effect 2, Dead Trigger, Minecraft, and Rip, uh, Riptide GP. But then I have all these other games down here, Asphalt 9, Call of Duty, Critical Strike, which that doesn't support any kind of control whatsoever, Fortnite, Game Pass, uh, uh, Legends Unkill. You can see them, you can read as well as I can. But for example, I do know that Fortnite will work with this. So you have to, and Game Pass will as well. So you have to go through and check out each one. So let's actually go ahead and do one. Let's do, um, let's see, we'll try up here with these here. Let's do Dead Trigger 2. Okay. So, works just fine, no issues there. Takes probably about 10 minutes to get used to. If you're, you, if you're used to an Xbox One controller, uh, takes you a couple of minutes just to get used to the, the feel, but other than that, it's fine. One of the things I do love about this 
is these two holes here are, in case you have forward or uh, bottom firing speakers, it channels the sound up, which is good because it, it actually sounds louder than when I normally play without it because normally my hand is over the speaker. Now the sound's coming right up. I'm going to turn the sound up for a minute. turn that down. If you're wondering about this volume control aspect, make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I will be doing a video on how to modify your Note 20 Ultra without rooting. Without rooting. There's all these cool things you can do. This is fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at another game. After about five minutes, you're going to be absolutely fine with this controller. If you've used an Xbox controller or an Xbox 360 or one or whatever, after about five minutes, this feels perfectly fine. I have hands the size of oven mitts, and I feel perfectly comfortable with this in my hand. I'm enjoying using it. Now, Fortnite is not one of the official programs that it says, yes, I know for sure that it works, but I can tell you, yes, for sure, I know that it works. It works. I didn't have to do any remapping. I didn't have to do anything. I just went into the Fortnite game. Did take a little bit for it to load up, but I guess that's the issue with Fortnite in general. I am not a big Fortnite player. My son is. I gave it to him to play with, and he said this he was fine with that. platform is Shadow PC, which is a virtual gaming computer that you can use to play all sorts of different games. I'm here, so I'm just going to go in and click on Overwatch says we're using cell data. I'll let it use the cell data for now. And we'll go in. Uh, I will do a quick play, even though I really shouldn't, because they get very upset if you do not stay for the whole game. Bastion. Bastion's my guy. Spray and pray. One of the reasons I like the Shadow Platform is aside from having a virtual Windows machine, I have access to a lot more uh, games because they're basically we're running PC. You did not just shoot at me. And you're not even over there. You're up there. Oh, again, again. So of all the streaming services, Stadia actually loads the quickest. I find myself waiting a lot less from, for Stadia than I do with all of the others. And Stadia has the advantage of being able to play it on this screen, or I could pick one of the Google Casts that's in the house and play it on the big screen. I'm going to show you a little later on how to use this and play big screen games with Samsung Dex. But for now, let's go ahead and go into that. You can see that pretty quick. Turn the volume up a little bit. Google's been trying to get me to try out Stadia for quite some time and one of the drawbacks I had was I was not getting a Stadia controller. I wasn't going to get a controller that I could only play with one system. Uh, I didn't want to invest in that, especially if I didn't know whether or not I was going to stay with that system. So the Razer Kishi eliminates that by allowing you to check out Stadia. They do have a 14-day free trial. So if you have a Razer Kishi and you wanted to check out Google Stadium, this is how to do it. And here we have, if not the star of the show, at least a featured player. This is the Xbox, Xbox Game Pass. Try saying that 12 times fast. And I've been using this actually for quite some time. I was one of the beta testers. And it's fun. It, it works. One of the things to be mindful of is that it does tie up your Xbox system while you're playing this. The idea is that if you're playing here, then you're not playing in your living room. I do find it takes a little longer for this to fire up than, as we just saw with the Stadia, the Stadia was almost instant. Uh, we got to wait for this to load up. And as I said, depending upon, you know, getting ready to go on a long bus ride, I guess that's not a big deal, but you just want to play a couple of minutes while you're uh, waiting for somebody, you're going to spend most of your time waiting for this to, that's without any updates or anything like that. If I have an update or, or something like that, I wait. Mission to load. 
So that was something I didn't like. With all of the systems, this was the slowest in terms of from the, when the time you decided you wanted to play the game to actually getting to play it. So I promised if you stayed to the end of the video, I was gonna show you two things that you're not gonna find in any other video. The first thing is this. I actually found a Amazon, an inexpensive Amazon basic case that holds this perfectly. So you don't have to try and jam this in your pocket. First couple of days I was carrying this in my, my vest in my pocket. I was getting these caught on everything. But now I just take and I slip this right in here. Make sure it's not on the edge. Slip it right in there, cover it up. Fits perfect, 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 perfect. Nice little hide cover to protect it. And this will fit in and out of your backpack or your, if you have large pockets. You'd have to have pockets like uh, Mary Poppins. But in any event, you get what I'm saying. That you can now carry this without any fears whatsoever. So that's the first bonus thing. And you won't find this. You'll find it now that I've showed you, but you would not have found this on any other video. Let me show you the second one, which is how to play, use your Razer Kishi with Samsung DeX. Now, earlier on, I alluded to the fact that this is, this is locked. You have to unlock it to play it. Aha, that is the bonus feature. See, when it's locked, you could still use it it's still an Xbox controller. It's a little smaller, it's a little crampeder, but you could still use it as an Xbox controller. So how do you use this with Samsung DeX? So I'll put a link for this as well. I'll put a link for the case, but I'll put a link for this as well. And this is, they actually come as a set. This is two USB-C connectors, and you can actually either put it in that way. I usually open it then close it so you can take that put that right on there and then I have a another cable that I'm going to show you that we just plug that in and at that point you can now use this as a controller so I have Samsung Dex up which means I can just start a game the way I normally would and not only can I play it on decks this way but I can actually even play it on Stadia so I can have this connected to my phone and have my phone sitting next to me on the bed and be watching a hotel TV and be able to play that way I don't actually have to have this big huge piece I can just have this this little tiny piece hanging out in my hand so to sum up does the build quality of the Razer Kishi demand $100 no it probably should be half of that is it worth it to have it at that price right now yeah I've played more games mobily in the last couple of days than I probably played in the last couple of months simply because it was just so easy and it was so much fun. Remember, you can also get the little case that we'll put down below and you can also get the connectors to allow you to use it with Samsung DeX. And just adding those two features alone brings up the value of the product. Until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, AKA the High Tech Nomad, signing out.